about these Hepco & Becker Seabow cases. Um, I've been using them for around, I think, four or five months now, and I'm really happy with them. I use them for mainly commuting, um, taking my gear with me, going to appointments. So it's more for an urban environment, so not off-road. Um, but yeah, I really like them. They're really easy to open. Uh, you can open them on both sides. So you can open them on the back and on the front. So this time I'll open them on the front. So you can open them like that. So I really like the fact that they're open at the top and not at the side. And you can also open them like this. Also, you can also remove the whole cover, but I'm not sure why you should do that. I'm also using inner bags for them, really easy. You can order them together with the cases or not, so you're not obliged. You get two keys with them and the keys are yeah, fine, I think. No complaints there. It's also really easy to remove them. And I really love the Seabow system because yeah, they're pretty low profile, not a big rack. So like this. Uh, with the Seabow system on this particular model, uh, on the Ducati Desert X, you get a heat shield because yeah, otherwise you will melt the bags. And putting them on is just as simple as removing them. Of so, luck. Close it and you're done. That's it. So little view from the back. I really like the fact that the bike is not really wide uh, with these bags. They're not wider than the handlebar, so that's really good when filtering, of course. I think it's really good to know how much fits in these cases. So it's not big enough for a big laptop. You can put in a 13 inch laptop if you want. As you can see, if you fill in, you fill up this whole bag, it will fit quite snug. Um, I normally throw in my lock, my camera bag, um, my tripod, some other accessories. It's perfect for that. Um, it can hold five kilos and the max speed with this case is 130, the max allowed speed, but I've been using them for a couple of months now and I've ridden of course a lot faster than 130 kilometers where it's allowed. Yep, yeah. Awesome. Really good thing about them is that you also have a handle on the top and that sits flush with the top of the cases. So let's try to fill it up. Of course everybody wants to know how much beer you can fit in it and how much milk you can fit in. So we're going to try it. These are 33 centiliters of cans and one liter of milk. So let's try to fill it up. I'm going to remove the back because it's easier then. So one, two, four or three, sorry finish my school beer. I need to be a little bit smart about this. I can even fit two more of the milk. It's pretty big. So as you can see I have a lot more room left. So I really like it. A really cool thing is that the Hepcon Bracker also supplies wall brackets. You can buy them separately so that you can mount them on your wall if you're not using the cases. 
This is applicable for all sea bow cases. So two things to note, they're from plastic, so they are really rugged, but if you have a hard crash, I think they will tear and explode. Um, they scratch well, not that easily, but they're easy to transport. If you're in the market for hard luggage that is lightweight, I highly recommend these Hepco & Becker X-Car cases together with the Seba system. I personally really like them. You have them in black and in gray. This one is the gray version. I think they are between 400 and 500 euros or something like that, or maybe even more, depending on where you live. But I highly recommend them. Great quality, good kit. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. It's a really short video, but yeah, I think it's more than enough information about these beautiful x cases. So if you like this video, don't forget to like. And if you want to see more of this video or Desert X content and other content, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.